Rainbow Dash. I just keep thinking about how much fun you're gonna have at the Daring Do convention. I wish Princess Celestia didn't need my help with the Friendship Summit in Griffinstone. Don't worry. I'll make sure AK Yearling signs your book. I can't believe she's gonna be there. She never goes to conventions. <sighs> Which, I guess, will be cool for all those other fan ponies. But since you and I know AK Yearling personally, and we know that she's secretly daring do herself, it's no big deal. This convention will be fun, but it's nothing to get too excited about. So excited! My little pony, my little pony. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? You look like a pony who'd be up for an all-inclusive, one-of-a-kind adventure where you get to live the daring do experience. No thanks. Did that already. <sighs> this is the awesomest thing ever. Now this is something that only a true fan can appreciate. They even put the tiles in the right order. <laughs> Good catch. Oh, I'm Quibble Pants. Nice to meet you. Rainbow Dash. Nice costume. You too. Thanks. The hard part was figuring out the right number, number of, of arrow, arrow holes. holes. B -b because on page 84 of Sapphire Stone, it describes her dodging a, quote, score of arrows shooting forth from holes in the very walls, unquote. But then on page 107, Daring Do says she, quote, barely made it past the trap's barrage of arrows, unquote. But clearly, Daring Do is embellishing, and the correct number of arrows is 20. glad I ran into you. Even though I knew the convention would be totally awesome, it's more fun when you're with someone who really knows Daring Do. I know what you mean. It's so hard to find a pony who really gets it. Huh, that's weird. We've only done stuff from the first trilogy. After lunch, we should probably start working our way back through the other books. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There are no other books. Of course there are. Daring doing the trick of the terrifying towers. Daring doing the many faces. Uh, please, please don't. Just don't even mention the titles. I I'm not saying those books don't exist. I'm saying that I refuse to acknowledge them. Why? Because they're horrible. I mean, there isn't a single thing after Ring of Destiny that is even remotely in the realm of the possible. What? I know for a fact that everything in every one of those books is 100% possible. Uh, and how could you possibly know that? Uh, I just do. Well, that's a compelling argument. Why would you even come to this convention if you hate Daring Do so much? I don't hate Daring Do. The first series was smart and cool and an amazing nod to old-time serialized adventure books that somehow manages to be self-reflexive and ironic while at the same time celebrating the art form without a hint of cynicism. Which is why I came here to ask A.K. Yearling, muzzle to muzzle, why she sold out and dumbed down the rest of her books and ended just a series of impossible action sequences. Okay, now I know you're crazy. A.K. Yearling is awesome, and every Daring Do book that comes out is better than the last. Wow. Okay, yeah. I, I'm, I'm sorry, but I could never be friends with some pony who's willing to believe impossible stuff is possible as long as Daring Do does it. That's okay, because I could never be friends with some pony who's so focused on things being possible that he's willing to turn his back on the coolest hero of all time! Fine! Fine! Look, 
Just tell AK Yearling that Rainbow Dash is here, and I need her help to convince a know-it-all pony that everything Daring Do's ever done actually happened. Rainbow Dash? AK! I've got to talk to you. It's an emergency. Oh, not here. Now tell me, what's going on? Is it Cavaleron? Did you see him? What? No. But there is a pony downstairs who thinks everything you've written after the first trilogy is totally unrealistic and terrible. And I need you to help me prove to him that it's all totally possible. I've got bigger problems on my hoofs than dissatisfied fan ponies. Whoa. The amulet of Kulikon. And Caballeron wants it. But the amulet's only a key. <laughs> the real treasure is hidden in a lost temple. The seven-sided chest of Chico Mostock. Caballeron wants to sell it to the highest bidder, of course. Which is why I need to find it first. Yes! Sounds like another awesome daring do adventure! But what are you doing here? Since I haven't found the temple yet, it's the safest place for me in the amulet. It's crawling with security, and if I get into trouble... I can just blend in with all the Daring Do cosplayers. How can I help? Just keep your eyes out for anything suspicious. Got it! Does a pony who only likes your first trilogy qualify as suspicious? <laughs> just checking. I find all this fanfare around my arch enemy disturbing. I mean, where is the booth for Cavalero? I do not see their likeness. Come, let us find Daring Do in the amulet of Kulakar. I don't want to spend any more time in this place than I have to. Well, if it isn't the pony who knows impossible things can happen, because she just does. Ugh. Sorry, Quibble. I've got more important things to do than argue with a pony who thinks awesome means unrealistic. No, wait. I want to hear more about how you're 100% sure that in Curse of the Jungle Queen, Daring Dude could survive a 60-story drop from the top of a waterfall after sustaining a broken wing in a Category 6 rapid. Ugh. Obviously, her wing wasn't broken. Cavaleron! See, now that's a great character. Solid backstory, good motivations. No, 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 no. Cavaleron is right there. Of course he is. He's also over there, over there. Oh, oh, over there. And over there. Where are you going? And we're out here because... Daring Dude told me that Cavaleron came to this convention to steal the amulet of Kulakon, and I just saw him and his head ponies come this way! Okay, I'm gonna head back inside. There's just a little too much crazy out here for the both of us. <gasps> I do not know what Daring Do is playing at, but if she told you two fan ponies of my plan to steal the amulet, you must work for her. Cavaleron! Ha! What do you have to say now, Quibble? This was your plan to prove the Daring Do books are realistic? You bought a Daring Do experience adventucation. Really? What? No! Oh, look around us! Edge ponies, Cavaleron, the jungle it took forever to get to. This is the real deal! Right. We're actually being held captive by Cavaleron. Please! This guy's accent is all over the place. Uh, no offense. I... So, what's the setup here? You've kidnapped us and taken us to the middle of nowhere because... The temple of Chico Mostoc is somewhere in this jungle. When I find it, the seven-sided chest is as good as mine. I just need the amulet of Kulakon to unlock it. Uh-huh. And Daring Do has the amulet, so you came up with this overcomplicated plot to lure her into the jungle and exchange it for us. I wouldn't call it overcomplicated, but yes. Okay, we're done here. Great work. Seriously, very believable. Listen, pal, you can keep her money, but I'm not... Going anywhere! 
You may not approve of my plan, but I'm the mastermind here. Debatable. And I say, you will remain here until Daring Do comes to rescue you. And if she wants you back in one piece, she will give me the amulet. Tie them up! The Griffin's Lock! You know of it. Further proof that you are an agent of Daring Do. Or an avid reader. And now, I will continue my search for the temple. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if I pretend to believe this nonsense is real, will you call off the hench pony repertory theater over there? They're not gonna listen to me. They abducted us both. Oh, wow. So you're gonna stick with that script. Oh, okay, fine. We're we're in a daring do adventure. <laughs> what was that? Daring do, thank goodness, we're over here. Fan out! You can't let Daring do rescue these two. <laughs> All four? I mean, shouldn't at least one of them stay behind to guard us? Oh, oh, wait, the, no, because then it wouldn't be a terrible Daring do adventure. It doesn't matter. We'll never stop the Griffin Clock before they get back. Okay, that was pretty good. We've got to get out of here and warn Daring Do! No way. Just point me to the hotel and you can play fan pony and hunt treasure out here all day long. <sighs> Fine. Let's just say this is a Daring Do adventure The only way to get back to the convention is to go through it. So just follow me and I'll lead you out. Deal? Uh, ugh, fine. Maybe if I just leave you in the jungle, it'll convince you. Which would make Daring Do left hook, which we know is false, and that is everything that's wrong with Daring Do and the trek to the terrifying tower. Now, the problems with the next book are even. Oh, right. What Daring Do adventure would be complete without the precarious rope bridge? Look, I'm all for making things feel as real as possible, but are these adventuration ponies sure this thing is safe? Is it too realistic for you? Wouldn't want that on a Daring Do adventure, would we? If this were really a Daring Do adventure, I'm sure I'd step on the wrong plank at exactly the wrong... Whoa! Good thing this is all just a pretend adventure. At least we know all of this struggling won't make the bridge fall apart. You need to get your money back. That was awesome! I, I, I thought we... And then you began the flying. Well, and I was like, where are you going? And, and, and then you swerved? And I was, I was, I was on the water and the, and the, and the rocks. <laughs> wow! Yeah. If you read that in a book, you might even think it was unrealistic. Okay, I'll give you that one. I mean, we could have been done for. We could have been done for? What, what kind of education is this? I mean, that's, that's just bad business, but what are these ponies thinking? Right now, we are thinking that we should thank you for escaping. For you have led us directly to the lost temple of Chico Mosto. <laughs> Make sure they are secure this time. We can't have them escaping again. You'll never get away with this! Won't I? You've led me to the temple, and Daring Do is too noble to let harm befall her companions, so the amulet is as good as mine. What? No witty remarks this time about how silly my plan is? This isn't the official Daring Do experience adventuration, is it? Finally! It's some cheap knockoff run by a bunch of incompetent ponies that have no idea how to execute this adventure with any level of safety. Ugh. What was that with the bridge? We were in serious danger. I I'm reporting you all to... Well, I don't know who I'm reporting you to, but it's gonna be some pony important. Oh, and this cut-rate excuse for an experience hasn't proved anything except that I'm right. 
It has all the hallmarks of a lame, daring-do adventure. Uh, Quibble? No, I'm talking. Generic jungle locations? Check. Overly complicated villain plot? Check. Random coincidences that conveniently get us to the next big set piece? Check! What are you stepping you for? Listen, buddy. I don't take orders from some second-rate performer who learned acting from the supervillain school of bad accents. The only thing this mess is missing is some giant Aoi Zoto wannabe monster, and I have a feeling that would be a bit too much for you bargain basement adventurers to pull off. Um, you're real. This is real. This is real! anything suspicious not run off on an adventure without me whoa whoa, whoa. You, you're real you're, you're you're friends with her uh we'll have to do introductions later right now we have to you get out of here yes thank you actually no what we can't leave without the treasure and we should probably get to it before our friend gets any higher <laughs> Seven doors, seven locks. One of them leads to the treasure. I'd rather not think about what the others lead to. Yeah, yeah, the classic pony and the tiger bet. All you have to do is... Um, maybe you should let Daring Do figure it out? Oh, excuse me. Not <coughs> that one. Is he always like this? Yeah, but he's usually right. <sighs> Which lock do you think it is? Oh, finally. Look, each door has another door that matches. These two both have earth ponies fighting serpents. These two have pegasi fighting griffins. These two have unicorns fighting bears. But this one... Has an alicorn on it. It's the only one without a match. How did I miss that? I've been asking myself that ever since book four. The seven-sided chest of Chico Mostock. Uh, guys. Uh, the way out is totally covered. How are we gonna get out of here? Seriously, do you ever not escape out of the top of a temple? We'll have to carry Mr. Adventure Critic out with us. We won't be fast enough. We'll never make it. Guys! I think Rainbow Dash and I have this covered. insane you said go over him i said go around him and i said be quiet this way i heard you okay i got it let's create a fake treasure out of mud and rocks give that to caballeron and then when uh, not every daring do plan has to be super complicated uh, i swear i heard them <laughs> Eh, not particularly original or inspired, but it worked. Who are you again? He's a fan. Uh-huh. There's some stairs on the other side of the temple that lead out of the ravine. I suggest you two take them and head west. What about you? I've got to get this to a museum. Thanks for your help. I couldn't have done it without you. Both of you. So? So... Maybe the later books are slightly more realistic than I gave them credit for. Still don't like them. What? How can you... Wait, hold on. Before we get in another fight, I, I think I finally figured it out. 
I love the daring dude that solves puzzles and uses her brain to get out of tough situations. And she did way more of that in the original trilogy. You love the daring dude that is brave and awesome and comes out on top no matter what the odds. Okay. And that's okay. We might never agree on what makes daring do cool, but you are definitely cool. I mean, the way you saved me on the bridge? Wow. And escaping from the temple? You, Rainbow Dash, are awesome. Well, I'm not the one who can locate a treasure in half the time Daring Do can. You may have terrible taste in books, but you're pretty awesome yourself. In a brainy egghead puzzle solving kind of way. <laughs> I guess we don't have to agree on everything to get along. Friends? Definitely friends. Yeah, do you think AK Yearling would consider letting me? write the next book, I, I mean, I think I can make things way clearer. I mean, for instance, in the second adventure, there's a side character. I don't want to kind of name it right now because it's sort of this thing that I've already written a lot of fan fiction on. I don't want, you know, not that I'm saying you would steal it, but I am saying that this would totally go along my whole thing about puzzle solving, except what if each puzzle that was solved uh, unlocked a new karate move? Think of it that way, right? I mean, I'm kind of a year light myself, so I'm sure she'd be open to... Uh, quibble? Sorry. L -H -X.